Okay, so let's take a look and see what we've got here. Largely because he was concerned about the increase in the cost of picking up litter along the highway, the Transportation Department employee began asking caring citizens and charitable local groups to adopt or become accountable for sections of the highway. So remember, on your first read through, you wanna look for things that jump out to you as awkward, but that doesn't mean they're automatically wrong. Just because they sound weird, they could still be grammatically correct. Now, this is also a really long sentence. There's lots of clauses, there's lots of commas. It makes you think there's a lot of potential for errors. But let's go ahead and check each, uh, each underlined part one by one. So largely because he was concerned. Okay, well, because is just beginning this dependent clause. Because this one thing happened, so this other thing happened. And he, our underlying pronoun, is clearly referring to the employee. So that looks fine. And then in B, we've got the cost of picking up litter. Well, idiomatically, that's fine, right? We talk about the cost of something all the time. The cost of my new iPhone, the cost of buying tickets, the cost of picking up litter along the highway. Idiomatically, totally fine, no problem with B. In C, well, there's your main verb, began. The d transportation department employee began, right? We've got that singular subject, singular verb, and he did it in the past tense, so that looks fine. Now, this asking caring, right, began asking caring citizens. These two ing words right next to each other might sound awkward to your ear, but is it actually incorrect? Well, this asking is pairing with this verb began, right? The department employee began asking. Well now, so what do we do with this caring? Well, it's actually a participle, an adjective, describing citizens. What kind of citizens are they? They're caring citizens. So this is actually fine. They're putting those two ing words next to each other to try to trip you up, make you think that there's an error there, but actually, they're serving totally different functions and they're both totally correct. So A, B, C, D, all correct, so your answer is gonna be E. No error, this sentence is correct as written.